guys, this is Echo here with EchoFlowYoga.com. I am in lovely Lake Etichlan on a very, very rainy day. So what better to do on a rainy day than do some core work in the studio? Uh, I get asked a lot what are some of the most important things of a yoga practice, the physical asana practice. And so much is about our core. You know, our core supports so many of our movements and really is the foundation of our practice. And while it's not the most fun thing to do in our yoga practice, it's really good to focus on if you want to create a strong foundation for balancing and if you're ever wanting to do any arm balancing or anything like that, becoming very aware of your core and creating a very, very intimate and close connection to your core will give you such a beautiful foundation to root into your asana practice. So. That being said, have something similar to a block with you. If you're at home and you don't have a block, get a big heavy book, um, get something rectangular, and make sure it's got a little heft to it. You don't want it to be too light because we're gonna use its weight to help us strengthen our core today. So we're gonna start on our backs in Apanasana. So pull the knees into the chest, and you can just begin to rock from side to side. Just massaging the spine here. Hmm. Grab your block or your book, and we're going to place it on the right thigh, right elbow on top of the block, hands behind the head. Well, actually, we're going to keep one, the right hand behind the head, left leg, left arm forward, left leg forward. So take an inhale here, and exhale, curl left knee to left elbow. Inhale, lengthen both, and exhale, curl. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Really keep the lower back down, really press through that block, keep moving. And exhale brings you in, two more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Take the block, bring it off to the side. Hands around the knees and just rock from side to side. So just beginning to bring some warmth here into the core. Let me move to the other side. Create that 90 degree bend with the knees. Block to the left thigh, left elbow on the block. And lengthen the right leg out, right arm back. Inhale, and exhale, curl in. Inhale, and exhale. 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 Last one. Inhale. And exhale, bring the block off the side, knees into the chest, and breathe here. And create that 90 degree bend in the knees again. Bring them up over the hips, arms alongside the body. So really tuck the lower back down. So really tilting the pelvis down. Round the lower back and breathe here. Take an inhale. And an exhale, bring the right toes to touch down to the ground, keeping the lower back planted. Inhale. And exhale, left toes down. Inhale. And exhale, right toes down. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Keep moving from side to side. So this might look like you're not doing much, but you really want to plug the lower back down. Keep that tilt of the pelvis neutral so that there's no arch in the lower lumbar. As you do that, it really pushes the body to use those deep abdominal transverse muscles. So keep moving from side to side nice and slow. Take five more. Four. Three, two, 
and one. Knees into the chest, breathe here. Rock up to boat pose, Navasana. Keep the arms out alongside the body, knees bent. Take an inhale, lengthen out nice and straight. And exhale, curl in, maybe taking a hold of the back of the thighs. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, curl in. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Pull the knees into the chest, cross the ankles, and come over into tabletop. As you come into tabletop, take an inhale and lengthen the left leg back behind you, right arm forward. Pause here. Really press down through the left palm. Take an inhale. And exhale. Curl in. Create space in the upper back. Knee to elbow, and inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, curl. Inhale. And exhale, down. Send the right leg back behind you, left arm forward, inhale. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, curl. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, curl. And exhale in. Come back to neutral. And bring the hands directly underneath the shoulders. Bring the feet back and come into a plank pose. Pause here. Come down onto the forearms, get the legs nice and long, press the palms in, and wait here. Slight rounding of the upper back. Pull the belly into the spine and breathe. And bring the chest down to the earth. Bring the elbows underneath the shoulders, sphinx pose. So you're going to take an inhale, press through the palms, rounding the upper back, lift the pubic bone up, pull the chin into the chest. Inhale, lower the belly, look forward. Exhale, round the upper back, chin to chest, lift the pubic bone. Inhale, down, open the chest. Exhale, curl in and up. Inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, and come back to neutral, tuck the toes under, bring the hands by the shoulders, press up to a plank, and back to downward facing dog, pause here, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, sit the left leg or the right leg back and up, and exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Pause here. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to right or <laughs> to knee to nose. Pause here. And then send the right leg back, downward facing dog. I've got rain brain. That's what I'm going to call it. My brain doesn't work whenever it's raining. <laughs> Take a few breaths. And inhale, lift the left leg up. I need a nose. Inhale, lift. It's the left elbow. Inhale, lift. Right elbow. Inhale, lift. Nose. Pause here. 
and then send the left foot back downward facing dog. Walk the feet halfway up the mat, bend the knees, sink the hips, and we come back down onto the glutes. Push the legs out in front of you. Nice open chest, bring hands down alongside the body, Dandasana, open heart space. Take an inhale, reach the arms forward as if you're holding a platter. On an exhale, slowly begin to lower, rounding the lower lumbar first. Then the mid thoracic. And the upper thoracic. And coming all the way down. Knees into the chest, not done just yet. And we want to straighten the legs out overhead. So nice and straight. Toes together, heels out, arms alongside the body. Take an inhale, lift the chest. And on an exhale, lower 30 degrees. Lower another 30, plug the lower back down. And lower to hover. And come all the way back up. Lift the legs up. Breathe here, two breaths. Heels out, toes, or heels in, toes out. Peel the chest up, lift the shoulders, take an inhale. And an exhale, lower 30 degrees. Lower another 30. Lower to hover. And then knees into the chest, breathe here. <sighs> Lift the legs straight up again. And this time we're going to pretend like we're climbing a rope. So reach the right hand towards the right foot. And then reach the left hand towards the left foot. And keep moving up the rope nice and slow. Pulling the shoulders off the mat. Plugging the lower back down. We keep moving for 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Knees into the chest. Rock up to a seat. Getting towards the last little bit. <clears throat> and we're going to bring the chest back a bit here. Stretch the arms out alongside the body. So we're going to... Lean back till we feel a little bit of tension here in the lower abdominals, in those deep, deep abdominals. Knees come in together, press through the feet as much as you can, shoulders down the back. Take an inhale, reach up. On an exhale, reach forward and out. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale, down and out. Inhale, up. Exhale, down and out. Inhale up, exhale down and out, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, two more, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. Hands onto the top of the shin bones, sit up nice and tall. Let the head drop into center, take a hold of the shins, fold in. Slowly look up, stretch the legs out in front of you. A nice heart opening pose that will stretch the belly to to help us out with a little bit of length here in the core after all that work, hands underneath the hips. We're going to come up into Matsyasana, fish pose. So open the chest, slowly come onto the elbows, really press the chest up, and then let the head drop back. Maybe it comes close to the ground, maybe not. Maybe you make little fish poses or fish noises. And we just breathe here. Nice and easy. Mm. 
and slowly move the hands out from underneath the hips alongside the body. And take a nice sweet Shavasana. So you can stay here as long as you'd like. Take some space, the arms away from the body so that the arms can breathe. And just allow yourself to ground here. Relax, breathe. Feel free to stay and relax or continue multiple circuits of this core strengthening. Sometimes it's nice to do at least three circuits. Whenever you're ready, just grounding into the space, bringing one hand to heart, one hand to belly, feeling the rise and fall here. for joining me on the yoga mat today doing a little bit of core heating and some grounding at the end there um, yeah if you ever want to work on core this is a really great sequence to do three to five times as I said before so if you want to rewind the video and redo it it's great to get the core working and really helps in, in your yoga practice so feel free to send me comments if you um, have some suggestions or desires and are looking for certain practices in your flow you can find out about trainings and retreats at echoflowyoga.com and find out more about my adventures around the world um, at echo underscore around the world on Instagram. So I hope to meet you sometime real soon on the yoga mat somewhere in the world. And if not, keep practicing, showing up for yourself and beginning to find that beautiful connection between the body, the breath and the mind.